well, we have xenoestrogens, we have phytoestrogens, we have all these things that are estrogenic mimics in the environment, and we're ingesting those on a daily basis to the tune of who knows how many parts per million, and it's not slowing down, it's only getting worse with the water and the food and everything. And I think now we're probably at a point too where there's a little bit of estradiol resistance syndrome going on to where estradiol or bioavailable estradiol isn't necessarily correlative to the levels that we have in our body. I think estrogen resistance is probably as real as testosterone resistance from everything that we're up against in the environment. So I'll just say it has benefited my life massively. And I think for guys on testosterone therapy that have sexual function issues, I don't think you can necessarily always chalk that up to the exact level of estrogen, which even if you were, most estrogen is done on an immunoassay test and not an LCMS test. Right. So a lot of times exactly. estrogen is skewed anyway, and they think they have high estrogen and they really have low estrogen because the blood test isn't reading properly. But I don't think you could ever even necessarily chalk it up to that the same way you couldn't chalk up a guy feeling depressed at 800 total testosterone is because he might not be even accessing a fraction of that testosterone. So that's kind of the long-winded way of saying that I think men can benefit from exogenous estrogen as much as they can.